All right, everyone, welcome back to a special edition of Savage Squirrel's Lunch Break. I'm Scott Savage Squirrel, and today I am showcasing the game I've been working on again uh, with all the new features I've added since I uh, uh, made the last video. Um, for those of you that are new, um, this is a Barback, a video game based off of an old nightclub I used to go to many years ago called Neo Chicago. Um, back in 2007, I uh, came up with an idea for a video game for the nightclub while I was working there. Uh, me and the, the actual bar back that worked there, Dan, were joking around about making a video game based off the nightclub, you know, where, you know, it was a game where the club was overrun by rats and the object of the game is for Dan, the bar bag, to clear the club out of all the pests. So, cut two years later, when the technology finally came out, Nest Maker was released, I was able to put the game together. So, uh, let's see, I think it was like 2022 is when I started putting the graphics together. And slowly, every day at work, I would build sprites, I'd build backgrounds, characters, animations, and stuff like that, and uh, test them until I finally learned how to use Nest Maker. And I took all the work that I did over the years and put it into this game. Finally, completed the entire video game. Um, the only thing different this time around is that um, I had music from the tutorial that was on the, the Nest Maker tutorial, and I wanted to get my an original soundtrack, so I hired a chiptune artist who was providing me with the original soundtracks for the game, and two of the tracks that I have so far are in this version of the game. So the project's coming along. So we have the completed game. All that needs to be left to do is for the chiptune artist to complete the remaining tracks and the sound effects. So I'm not using just the uh, mess maker tutorial stuff, which was good stuff. It was great. The game was great with it. I liked it, but I'd rather have my own soundtrack. It just um, also, things I've added in this game was a high score feature, and now with the points you can earn an extra life after gaining 30,000 points. So there's multiple ways of getting extra lives in the game. It's not that hard of a game, anyone can get through it in 20, 25 minutes, half hour. Um, it's the kind of games I've always wanted to make, just simple arcade style games. And I wanted to make one based off my favorite nightclub that I used to hang out at. So, all right, well, without further ado, let's, uh, let's get started. King has sent his army of rats to invade the Neo Chicago nightclub, and it is up to Dan the Barback to stop them. How far can you get? That's a homage to Donkey Kong, where in the beginning of the game it says, How high can you get? That's well, kind of a play on that. Alright, here we go. I'm not using an emulator this time. Um, this is an actual application called Neztech. So when people buy it on Steam, they can just play it outright. Right? They don't need an emulator or anything like that. It'll be available on Steam soon, hopefully. I also added uh, another monster. We have zombie rats now in one of the later stages. I 
bigger. Fuck it, I wanted zombies in the game, so. <laughs> added a, a zo little zombie rats. So I'll do a quick playthrough so you can see how the game is played. Shit. Give you a little tour of the nightclub. It took me about two years to put this whole thing together on and off. I whittled it a little bit at a time, then I had to take to the I had to watch the tutorials for Nest Maker. So I can learn how to put this whole thing together. But this, uh, this is a childhood dream come true because I've always wanted to make Nintendo games. And now I finally did it. And let me tell you, the the chiptune artist really delivered here because the two tracks he gave me so far are absolutely fucking amazing. They're just fantastic. Um. I don't want him to rush with his work, so I have him send me the two tracks so I can at least complete the game. And we'll just add the, the other tracks as we go. And then the sound effects we'll do later. It's hard to play the game on a small screen because I gotta I do a full screen, but I don't want to screw up this whole video. But basically, all you have to do in this game, you gotta go around the nightclub. You gotta find the key to get to this area here. This is the cooler where all the beer is stored. You can see, like, beer and kegs and ice machines and shit like that. This is like a gauntlet where you fight the uh, various pests in this game. You'll see a lot of my references, uh, like some of my favorite games, or not, not really references, what's that word I'm looking for? Inspirations. Like The Legend of Zelda, you'll see that. It's, it's like Mario Brothers, other various games. For those of you that don't know me, I used to design trading cards for the nightclub. I started back in 2006. I used to make these anime-style trading cards. And every week I'd release a new one at the club. It would have a character in the front, and on the back of the card, it would have like the various the schedule of all the weekly events that took place at the club, so all the different DJs were promoted there and stuff like that, kind of helped promote the club, and uh, it, it took off. People collected them. So I've been doing all kinds of projects for the nightclub ever since. Even though that it's closed now, I'm still working on shit based off the club. It, it's the first nightclub to have its own trading cards, and now it's the first nightclub to have its own video game. Take that exit. <laughs> But for years, I've always wanted to make a Nintendo game. I just couldn't figure out what to make it about until this this idea came up. You know, I could you know I could make a, a simple platformer or something, but it'd just be another like Mario clone. I wanted to do something at least different. taken a while to get this game released, but it'll be out really soon. 
I can probably release it. I could probably release it now and just add patches with all the new stuff. Or if I find any bugs or something, I can always fix those later. Now you gotta remember every stage you gotta get the key. If you don't get the key, you won't be able to advance to the next area. And because the game basically, it's six stages long through the days of the week before the club is open. So the only way I can make the game not so repetitive is to switch things up around with the different monsters. Uh, I can make slight changes because I don't want the same stage every time. I don't want it to be too repetitive. That's why there's only six stages. And it gets harder and harder as you go. And not too hard. If you're really good at video games, you'll blow through it. But that's what I wanted. A simple arcade game that would have come out sometime in the mid-1980s. to light and there's a warp zone. And I added another secret area uh, earlier today. making a sequel um, to this game, but uh, I'm going to wait until the people that made Nestmaker are working on a new uh, software called Retro Game Forge or something like that. I don't know. The, I don't remember the exact name. I saw the, the live stream when they were announcing. And it looks fantastic. I think you can make Super Nintendo games on it. So I think the sequel I'm going to do a 16-bit version, because you can do more with it. So it'll be a lot of fun. But right now, I'm just going to focus on getting this one done. Eventually, I'm going to put this on a cart, but I'm not going to do it until, I, until I'm 100% sure that I got everything I need in this game. Once we get all the extra soundtracks and the sound effects, then I'll do it. But for right now, I'm just going to stick to making digital copies uh, and release it on Steam. Alright, here's the first secret area. And that's supposed to be me up there. <laughs> this is another Legend of Zelda kind of homage to two fire. And the little warp zone is kind of a Final Fantasy reference there. This takes you to the next part of the stage. It's not that big of a jump, but it works. The, the best part about this game, when I, when I was creating it, is it was making all the different monsters. All the different ways that uh, Dan has to figure out how to deal with creative ways of trying to kill our main character here.
Not if you're new. Those cats tell you what stage you're on. So every stage there's another cat in the alley. They all have names. Because I like orange cats. They're all going to be orange. Butter cats. That's what I call orange cat pump butter cats. Because they're usually fat. These, these monsters are uh, puke monsters. Living puke. Here you go. Here, here, are, my here are my zombies that I added in. They're difficult to kill, they're slow, they get in the way. But sometimes you're just better off avoiding them. But if I want that pack of smokes up there, I gotta get, get through them. You'll see cracks on the floor, you wanna avoid those. Those are the, the potholes that the nightclub used to have when the dance floor got beaten up from all the stomping. This is a gothic industrial nightclub so there was a lot of stomping especially by yours truly okay not all the time i wasn't on a dance floor all the time but I, I did make my way to the floor and did my fair share of stomping like everybody else <laughs> i miss the old club Especially back in the days when you can still smoke cigarettes inside, it was uh, it was the hangout. I wouldn't hang out anywhere else, really. All my hangouts just get shut down. First it was Galaxy World, then it was Neo. And I don't really hang out anywhere anymore. I just go to the 7-Eleven. <laughs> Actually, I hang out. I hang out at the convention center in Rosemont nowadays. I get my coffee and I sit by the fountain, just chill before going to work. See what kind of conventions are going on over there. I go to, you know, every year I go to Anime Central. Uh, I didn't go to the Fan Expo this year because I needed the extra money, so. Probably go to another anime convention called Anime Magic at the end of the month. It depends if I have the extra money. Those conventions, let me tell you, they're fucking expensive. You have no idea how much plasma I can sell to go to multiple conventions this year. But that's what I'd like to do. Hopefully next time I'll be able to go there and promote my game. Alright, this is good. This is good. It's all tricky. Those ice balls can't be killed. Well, actually they can be. They take 300 hits and there's no way, there's no way anyone's going to want to do it. You can hit them. You can freeze them so they can't hurt you. They can stop, but uh, a little bad there. But uh, you can't you can't kill them unless you hit them 300 times. These are the dust bats. If you haven't heard the story about the dust bat, I should tell you. Neo had like these huge Halloween events. And they hung some rubber bats on the ceiling. And they forgot one after Halloween was over. And the thing was up on the ceiling for years. And it collected so much dust that you couldn't recognize it. It was The dust was so heavy, it weighed its wings down. It was just a big ball of dust. So when they finally cleaned the place up, they took the dust off and found, uh, found the rubber bat in there. And it's been a running joke ever since. Another thing I did in this game was 
the items come back when you leave the screen, and I, I did that for a reason. Because I want the temptation for the player to go get it again. If you want to get that high score or whatever. But I got addicted to collecting items. That's one of the hooks in this game, is the items. That sound effect of grabbing something and the points going up is addicting. Yeah, there's also a back door here. So if you want to go out this way and collect more items or whatever, you can do that. In the, in the last stage, you got to go out there and get the key. But I'm going to show you another um, hidden area in the next stage. Originally, there was a timer on the screen that if it ran out, you'd lose a life, but I, I got rid of it because I didn't want to punish the player for uh, exploring the nightclub. I want the player to walk around and see everything in the club. There's our little broken urinal over there. I haven't died yet. It's amazing. This is the hardest rule. Oh. Actually, there's one. Actually, there's a couple that are actually hard. The last stage. And these are the Cheeto dust bats. I accidentally left them orange, and I liked it so much I just left it. Oh shit! Oh fuck! Pay attention to what I'm doing. Sorry, I got plenty of lives. So. Fuck. You can only throw two bottles at a time. I was gonna do three, but I don't want to make the game too easy. So this is this part of the Another hard part right here. Show you a couple. There's two secret areas in this game. In this, in this stage. There's three secret areas total in the game. There's two in this one. Oh fuck. This is another this is another difficult area. Oh fuck! I'm not using an emulator, so I can't rewind. Jesus, 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 fuck. Oh, man. <laughs> I, gotta, I gotta really pay attention to this part right here. I got this really tiny screen in front of me. See, there's the key you have to get, so you have to go back to that part later. If you choose to go that way and find a secret, you can skip it. 
the zombie things. Let me show you the first one. This stage, and only this stage, you can access this part down here. monsters. No bats. This state has all the my all the different monsters in here. And the end boss. The vile rat king. Okay, here's the other secret. This is a Rick and Morty reference. Look in front of the toilet. There's a warp zone there. There was an episode of Rick and Morty where there was a hole in front of the toilet that they jumped into, all the way in the back. That's where that came from. And that's where you get your other one. And here we are, the last, the last stretch. the boss, the game will call you a chicken and make you start this part all over again. can't win the game without killing the boss. Well, you don't really kill him. He just gives up. I need a reoccurring bad guy. I got Donkey Kong. I have a Rat King. Here we go. Oh, I gotta put tension here. For this particular title, I only wanted I only wanted one boss at the end. I think in the second game I'll have more. But this is our this is our main protagonist. He's our main antagonist. He's our gun. There you go. He's like, yeah, Jackie, give up, keep your stupid nightclub. And I, I added the uh, Dan with the uh, the devil horns because that's like that's Dan. <laughs> you gotta have that. Congratulations, you have helped Dan live through another hellish work week and defeated the vile rat king. The word vile, I use that because at the ending of Contra, it says you've defeated the vile red falcon, so that's that's where I got that from. Now he can get some sleep. Ending is real simple, it's all you really need. It's an ending with credits. There's me. There's uh, Radu who did, he put the two, he the two tracks, the intro and the stage music, and the Nest Maker uh, had the other tracks and, and the sound effects. So until, once Radu completes all the other stuff, then it'll just be him up there. But for now, I want to, you know, at least give the Nest Maker staff uh, credit for it. I don't know, I don't know who makes the, um, the actual music for the, the Nest Maker tutorial, but if I did, I, I just put the person's name. I at least want them to get credit on this demo version. And here's my special thanks screen. So, 
Dan's at the top of the list because, I mean, it's his game, really. I mean, he can walk around town and say he's got his own video game. How many people can do that? I mean, I always wanted to be the video game myself, but, you know, maybe I'll do that one day. Maybe I'll do that. I still hack old video games and put myself in there, but it'd be nice to have my own video game. All right, enough. There's my special thanks, and then I added this thank you for playing screen because you gotta have that. I couldn't believe I forgot that originally. You gotta have that right there. And then after this, the game loops. Back to stage one. I don't know why, but you see, where the dam is, the live the lives are gone. But when you go to the next screen, you come back. So I have to figure out how to fix that. So it's one of those bugs that doesn't ruin the game. So no big deal. But I believe it or not, I, I get addicted to my own. I could play this for hours. I don't know why. I just. I'm having fun playing it. I hope other people do too. That's why I wanted to get this game out there. And, uh, you know, I, I think it's great that uh, Neo Chicago finally has its own video game. I just wish the club was still open so I can promote it there. That would have been great. I, I'll probably go to the reunion next year and plug it there. I'm pretty sure there's a lot of the a lot of the patrons would be interested in getting their hands on this, let alone a physical copy. Once I make physical copies, that'll be great to have. Even if you don't play Nintendo games, just if you just collect really cool shit, it'd be neat to have. Especially for Neo. for the title for the second game. It's going to be called Far Back, Revenge of the Rat King. And in that game, you actually fight him on his turf. You delve into the, the catacombs of the city and find him in his little rat kingdom. You go through the sewers, all kinds of new areas. And that's why I think the new... Uh, software would be perfect because you can do more. Alright, I think I'll get to the end of this stage and I'll call it quits. I think I covered just about everything. After this, I think I'll show you the game over screen, please.
Okay, I'm gonna kill him off. I'll show you the game over screen. Ah. There you go. That's what happens when you lose all your lives. You're fired. And the rats are dancing around you while you're sitting in a dumpster. It's actually, that's one of the first images I came up with when I originally came up with this game. This is what happens to Dan when he loses. There it is. Alright. There you have it. Barbag. For the NES. Or uh, Steam for the time being. I will probably upload the game soon. I have to figure some things out. Maybe wait for some more tracks. Um, we'll see what happens, but I at least wanted to show you what I've got done so far. I've been working on this diligently, so it's coming out soon, and then you'll be able to check it out. And it won't be expensive, trust me. It'll be, it'll be relatively cheap. Alright, well, thanks for joining me for Savage Squirrel's Lunch Break. Um, if you're new to the channel, please like or subscribe. I'd appreciate it. And until next time, this is Savage Squirrel, signing out.